Summer here, and welcome to another video. So seeing as it is September 30th, the last day of September, before it turns into October, we need to get spooky. I need to prepare you guys for the spooky season, okay? You need to get spooked up. This entire month, I'm gonna get very spooky on you guys. Like, the spook will be real, okay? The spook factor will go up. The spook factor will rise at least 100%. So today, I am making spooky, scary outfits for you guys. I don't make outfit videos often, but when I do, I usually just stick to the animals. But today, I'm also incorporating pets in there so you guys can get the spook level factor risen that much higher. So without further ado, let's get spooky. So the first thing I need to do right now is fix up my main outfit. I mean, guys, seriously, what is this? This is not spooky enough. Of course Sylvester is staying on my head, but everything else needs to go. So to me, a spookylicious color is purple, so we're gonna get some purple wings, a black tie, and there we have it. I've turned spooky. Oh wait, I forgot one thing. Yeah, now we're talking. And of course, Ultra Puppy, he needs to be fixed up a bit. I mean, look at him. He does not look spooky at all. He looks unspooky, and that is what we do not want. Guys, this is perfect. I just got him a sword. I mean, the spook level, it just went up. The spook level in this video right now is insanity, guys. The spook level is so real. I apologize that I'm saying spook level and spook factor and spook and spooky so much, but you know, it's almost October, okay? I'm getting into the spirit. The spirit of Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Wait, now I'm thinking that Ultra Puppy's outfit looks better than my outfit. He looks like he's all dressed up for Halloween and I just look like I'm I'm a pile of purple and black and magenta. That that's not okay. You know what? We have to we have to match Ultra Puppy. We're going to have twinning outfits this Halloween. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, this is going to be perfect. It's kind of strange seeing my main outfit with a sword instead of wings and also my eyes are evil for once and that's like that's never happened before. Okay, you know what? Ultra Puppy has his normal eyes. I'm going to keep my normal eyes on too. There we go. Now we look like we're all dressed up for Halloween and we're still kind of normal. All right, now let's get into the outfit making. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. I'm like twinning with my dog. Ah, oh, this is so cute. I seriously, like I can't, I can't even, I can't. I'm sorry, it's just so adorable. So the first animal that we're gonna be working with is the bunny. I mean, they're adorable any other time of the year, but Halloween, they're just spooky little creatures that are out to kill ya. So we're just gonna start off by making this thing like all black. There we go. Now we just gotta get some red eyes on that thing. All right, guys, I've decided a theme for this bunny. He is going to be a spooky wizard. I mean, who doesn't love a spooky wizard? I love a spooky wizard. You love a spooky wizard. Don't deny the spooky wizard from inside, okay? And then we're just gonna give him a little plaid shirt. Ooh, that's so adorable on him, honestly. I'm probably just gonna have to buy every single color of these because they're good. Don't mind me just casually buying every single color of the plaid shirt because they're so cute. <gasps> oh my gosh, that one even goes- oh my gosh, I have an idea. I have an idea. All right, I've actually changed his eyes to purple to match with his purple spooky shirt. I'm gonna add in a black little tie. Hi. Ooh, oh my gosh, he is so spooky. And now we're gonna add in the little spooky pet. I feel like these eyes are just like mean eyes, like they're staring at you with really mean, rude eyes, so we're gonna choose those. Apparently his name will be Fizzy Frost. I mean, that's some pretty good alliteration right there, so we're just gonna go with that. His favorite food is bacon. I mean, honestly, who doesn't love bacon? Honestly, none of the items looked good enough for the lion, so I just left him as is, and this is our first outfit. An evil bunny with an evil little tiger, or lion, or whatever it's called. Now, if you don't want a scary outfit, this one is definitely for you. I'm just getting a croc, naming it Swaggy Spooky Swag, because it's gonna be Swaggy Spooky Croc. Now, let's get into the outfit. So in this outfit, I'm trying to make it look like someone's dressing up for Halloween and not like actually evil. So let's try our best here. I mean, Animal Jam's just like making this too easy. Like this is the weirdest, most strange thing I've ever seen. Like if I saw someone in real life wearing this, I would probably run away in terror. So we're gonna go with this one. And the theme I'm going for with this one is just a normal dude dressing up for Halloween. So I'm gonna keep it to normal croc colors. I honestly don't even know what this croc is going as. It's just kind of weird and goofy. So that's, that's the effect we got. Maybe he's trying to be a boss or some sort of creature but whatever he was going for I think he nailed it so we're just gonna go with an orange and a red no that kind of goes together I'm gonna do an orange and a blue yeah then we're just gonna make his eyes these eyes the strange eyes beautiful simply gorgeous and I guess his name is gonna be green frog seems seems very fitting for him you know what I think that the penguin alone is good enough I don't think we have to accessorize it at all I mean just just look at that it's it's simply spooky and for our final outfit of the night I am choosing an animal that is absolutely scary probably the weirdest animal that has ever come into drama beats the croc by far it's the sloth so the thing that I'm going for this time is I'm gonna try to make him look like a spider I think that these eyes on him are actually pretty fitting but honestly if we added this mask it it it'd just seal the deal. I mean, look at that. Just a freak of nature right there. That beard just, it's mm, on point. Now I'm thinking that wings will kind of make it look more like an insect, even though it's supposed to be a spider and spiders don't have wings. You never know, okay? I mean, have you seen Australia? 
You never know what's going on in Australia. And of course, the pet that would best go with a spider sloth is a tarantula. I only changed the colors on this tarantula and I am absolutely in love with it. It looks so adorable, so let's go ahead and adopt it. Icy Egg. Now, nah, let's randomize that name. Tricky Tree. Now, that's a name I can get behind. Adopt this pet. Oh my god, guys. His favorite food is ravioli. That is that is amazing. That is so amazing. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuoli. And there we go. That is our final outfit of the night. It looks pretty on point. It looks pretty fleek, I must say. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuoli.